This is Blend Space, and Blend Space is another great tool for creating um, some multimedia projects, um, either lessons or you can have students use Blend Space to create projects in class. Um, it is a website, and so you'll have to use it through um, a computer, or if you use it on the iPad, you can access it through opening Safari and typing in blendspace.com. I uh, the the website does work pretty well on the iPad, uh, but there is no app as of yet for Blend Space. So this is my template, and when you create yours, um, this is your title. So you can click and you can adjust the title however you want. Uh, but Blend Space allows you to post um, all different types of media here on your Blend Space, and it starts off with six tiles. But you can add a row to create 9, 12, you know, as many as you would need. So I am going to, um, I downloaded this image here that Carrie showed you earlier with Bloom's Taxonomy and the SAMR scale. And so if I wanted to use that in my blend space, I would just take the image and drag and drop. And there's my image right there. I could then add a title. And then I can create description and notes on the back. So just something very basic and, you know, for our purposes here. So then you can also, um, you can add text. So if you were creating an, a lesson, you would probably want to have some instructions for students on how to complete the blend space or how to um, submit it for grading once they have completed it. So you could, you could create your instructions here. If students are creating a blend space to turn in as a project, they could create a, um, they could write, you know, a reflection of a story here as a piece of text. They could, um, you know, any piece of writing could be done in this text. They also can add a link here. So if they created some piece of writing um, as a Google Doc, for example, they could link the Google Doc here. Um, you can also upload like they could drag and drop a file. So they could drag and drop a Word document or a PDF or, you know, however their, their piece of writing has been saved. And then I'm also going to, I'm going to link this video here for you because this is a very cool um, resource. This is a video about how to create um, quizzes and, um, how to cre create a quiz through blend space. Um, you see that it has this add quiz button. So how to create a quiz and then um, have blend space grade it for you. So just a, a quick example is um, what does the A in SAMR stand for? So we would click the correct answer and say done. So then in the blend space, you could take this quiz. And if you select the right answer, submit it, and then it'll tell you, it'll show it in green if it's correct. And then you can have um, this window that pops up to the side here is, is for different notes and help things. So you, you as the teacher can create different resources. So if I click the incorrect answer and submit, then it crosses that out and it shows me the correct answer. And then you can go back and forth with these arrows, arrows through your blend space. 
And then to get out of this view, you just click the X, in, X and it will take you back out to your squares. So very quickly, that is how you create the blend space. Um, how do you share it? You can have a link. So students could email you a link. You could email a link to students. You could post a link on your website. Or you can embed through here. So you can embed on Twitter, embed code, like so you'd use this one to do an embed code on your website. You could email at Facebook or even do a QR code. You can set the privacy. So um, only people with the link and my students can see this. And then what can be copied from this lesson. So I would say nothing can be copied. Um, especially if it's students, you know, original work, then they're going to want to make sure that none of it's copied, um, you know, by other students online. So, and then collaborate so you can have a co-author and then so, so that people can kind of collaborate in real time. So this would be good for, for group work, partner work. Um, it would be good for, um, even teacher collaboration. So if you're, you know, if you have a grade level team and you're cl collaborating on a blend space project for your students in that grade level, you could even add one another as co-authors. And so pretty cool tool. Um, I like it a lot. So I hope you end up using it and enjoy it as much as I have.